Hello and welcome to Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. Sonic Boom! A brand new Wii U game that just came out today. A lot of people have been saying that this game is potentially even worse than Sonic 06, but you guys know me, I'm gonna go in with an open mind. We'll judge the game based on its own merits and not necessarily what we think the game should be because it's a Sonic game. So I already know it's gonna be quite different, so let's go ahead and uh, let's do File 2 because File 1's for chumps. So we have a few different options here. I probably will go for a 100% playthrough on this game, so keep that in mind. We do have QNC's database, not sure what that is. Nintendo 3DS Connect, this game also has a 3DS version. I don't actually have that, but I'm guessing they have some kind of connectivity, I don't know. Let's check out QNC's database to see what it is. Oh, okay, this is gonna be stuff like concept art and all that kind of crud. Of course, we can't actually look at that yet, but that's some stuff to keep in mind. Some unlockables we might get later on, and I will show those off when we get them. We also have credits, music player. Let's go check out the team challenges. We also have arena, hazard course, and collector ball. I think this is actually kind of like a um, co-op multiplayer kind of mode, so maybe I'll check that out at some point. But let's go right into story mode for today. Now, of course, on the 21st, Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire are coming out, so I will be playing both games at the same time until I beat this one. So let's keep that in mind. I don't think this game's going to be too long. I'm guessing it's probably going to be in the 8 to 12 hour range, so it shouldn't take more than a few weeks to beat. And it looks like the long loading screens from Sonic 06 might have returned, but it might just be for that particular one, because it is an opening cutscene. Oh my! Oh, blasted! BLASTED! And I will be talking over the cutscenes, if that's something that drives you crazy, this might not be the Let's Play to watch, but... It is my commentary, and... I'm gonna commentate, so... They do have subtitles, so you should be able to read. Uh-oh. So that's what happened today, but let's go look at yesterday. Running along real fast. Oh, dang! Of course, the classic chase against Dr. Eggman. He is looking real buff. Oh. I didn't mean that literally. It was a taunt. It's villainy 101. Right, right. Man, the resolution on your little, uh... Speed gauge there, speedometer, was looking a little bit low. There's some, there's like this certain kind of blurriness to this. It's probably just a lower res game. I think this might be a 720p game, I'm not sure. But I record my videos in 720p anyway, so it should be fine. Knuckles just had to check and see which way was left. Oh, we're going here, so left and right to evade. Oh, we can also press B to jump. I pressed A, so I kind of messed up there. So B is the jump button. There we go. Whoa, the jumping animation looks weird. Look at he's just like diving. I am very much okay with this jumping animation. I love it. Okay, so we do have left and right. There's no lanes or anything like that. It's just you can swivel back and forth. All right, this is getting old. Let's jump ahead to the part where I ambush you. Right. Um, I don't know if you can exactly ambush me when I'm expecting it. I think I I don't know the definition of ambush, but I'm pretty sure you you can't warn someone about an ambush. I don't know, maybe surprise ambush and ambush are different, but I, I always thought ambush was like a surprise. Okay, oh, kind of a drop in frame right there. He's destroying the road? Oh no, I guess we'll have to jump over the different things. Now it looks like the meter, whoa, jeez, I jumped into that swirly swirl. It looks like at the top left there is a ring meter, and it looks like it's going to fill up. We might get an extra life if I fill that guy up. Or something, I don't know. Whoa! Whew. So, not too surprising. Oh, look, it, it filled up to 100 and it just kind of stays there. So maybe that's like... You beat the stage with... Maybe it's like Yoshi's Island where you have to beat the stage with 100 to get max score or something. I don't know. Or Yoshi, in Yoshi's Island it was 30, but you know what I mean. But anyways, we are just kind of having a very straightforward chase section. Ooh, ice cream. But no! Right. He's just going to keep ambushing us. Is that going to be his gimmick? He just constantly ambushes us. But yeah, we are just having a straightforward chase segment. Not a huge surprise for them to kind of ease us into the game, give us a little tutorial at the start. I will say, this game is in desperate need of some anti-aliasing. There are some very significant jaggies going on. Right. Well, I, I don't think they are going to destroy me. So, 
we get dropped in here. We can press Y to attack. So this game actually does have some actual hand-to-hand -hand combat sections, or I guess foot-to-face, rather than just using homing attacks a whole bunch like in some other Sonic games. I think we can also use some other moves here. Let's see if I can do the... Yep, I can do the spin dash here. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if I have any other kind of combos to mix it up. It looks like I can go into a, a kick into a spin dash whenever I like, though, so that's pretty nice. Any other buttons? Uh, well, I can do left and right, or I can do L and R to evade some attacks here. It looks like as far as my attack options go, they are pretty limited. I just have my basic attack and my spin dash. I don't seem to have anything else that I can find. Oh, the jump! Dang! Right through a stone wall! Okay. Yes, very peaceful. Full of deathly robots and destruction. Very peaceful. Uh, okay, so there's gonna be... Uh, I guess a 3D exploration segment here. Oh, what's back here? Hello? Is this something, or is this nothing? I guess that's nothing. It looks like something significant, but I guess I can't do anything with that. So we'll move on. If you guys know what that was, if it is anything, let me know. I'm just gonna move on here. This forest looks calm and peaceful. Yeah, very calm and peaceful. Up here we have a treasure chest inside. One of 15 treasure chests. So I guess I'll have to find 15 on this stage. And I'm guessing that each stage is probably going to have some treasures to find. They're of course giving us some rings to kind of guide us along the way, but I don't know if there's any significance to gathering rings when you already have a hundred of them. So I'm not going to go out of my way to get those. Oh. Uh, are they going to... I think it's going to be very cinematic at the start. A lot of games are like this. I do, buddy. I don't know what it is, but no harm in finding out. Let's yes. head over there. I think that was right in the middle of my camera. I definitely saw that, Tails. So, I guess I'll just keep an eye out for the uh, for those treasure chests. You never know how tricky the game's going to be with hiding them, so I kind of want to look at every nook and cranny here. I don't know. Is it just me or is the frame rate kind of like off-putting in this game? I, I feel like it's not that smooth, but maybe it's just because I've been so used to 60 FPS from other games. Maybe this one's only 30. That might be it. There's a treasure crown up here. Let's grab that. One out of 15, so I guess there's 15 of those and 15 treasure chests. They don't actually go towards the same counter. Looks like they're not being too jerkish with hiding stuff, so maybe I should just, you know, uh, not look at every little spot. Or maybe I should, because suddenly, treasure down here. So I guess exploring is going to be part of the game. Uh, let's see, I think I can probably... It looks broken. Can I break it? Yes, I can! And it's said to double jump here. We already found out about the double jump. I do know a tiny bit about this game because I did play the 3DS demo last night. It is a little bit different on the 3DS, but they are very similar games uh, overall. Like, the structure is the same, even though the levels are kind of different, I think. So I knew that there was going to be, like, collectibles to find and stuff like that. And going up here gives us nothing! But I guess we can break this down. So we have our bouncy downward attack, and we also have uh, the spin ball, and I think that's pretty much it. Can I break these from down below? Yes, I can! Oh, and they fall over, too! They got physics up in this game! I mean, Sonic 06 had physics, so I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. We need to find the best way through this place. I think we should split up for a bit. You take the left, and I'll check out the right. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Oh, I just realized Sonic has the return of the butt spike! Yeah! I'm so hyped about this right now. Okay, so he's gonna go up there, I'm gonna go down here. And it looks like we're now in a 2D section, so... I guess... Similar to the 3DS version, this version will also have a mixture of 3D and 2D sections. Which I'm actually okay with. I think that'll be totally fine. So Tails meets up with me right here. And I guess I'm just gonna ditch him. So long, Tails! I don't need your crud. Ah, lots of rings to gather here. So this will be useful. For what? Uh, maybe for jumping on? I don't know. Maybe he's trying to sig signal me to break these? I guess I'll try breaking them just to see if there's anything. You never know. Oh, I might be able to jump over on that side. Is there anything up in that grassy area? Ooh, ooh barely made it. And up here, I can't actually go up there, crud. So they keep saying to check out the pillars. I don't know if there's going to be a goodie hidden around here. I think maybe I just need to jump across, though. Yeah, I'm not finding anything in these. Maybe in this one? Now I'm thinking they just want me to jump across here. I will break this last one, and let's go. So no more treasures there. I feel like I should be using my spin dash for faster movement more often. Whoa, I was like running into that cutscene there. That was weird looking. 
Oh, what up, Knuckles and Amy? Yeah. Yep, I made it. Let's just say he won't be bothering us again. Uh huh. Not unless he comes back. Right. Is Knuckles supposed to be like the big bumbling tough guy idiot in this in this game? Knuckles, you're supposed to be the smart one. What the heck? Am I wrong about that? Wasn't Knuckles always kind of the more intelligent one in the past games? Don't touch that. I've got a bad feeling. Don't, don't touch that. Okay. Guys, check this out. Hmm. Oh, it's drawings of Sonic and Sonic and Tails. Maybe it's going to be connected to some to some kind of ancient prophecy or something. And more robots to kick the butts of. Can I play as Amy and Knuckles though? That would be awesome. Without us? You know how much I like punching things. Right, Knuckles, I know. Let's go beat him up. Yeah. Oh, I think we're going to play as Knuckles, guys. Knuckles, who now has fingers for the first time in the Sonic game. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. And see, he can also do the jump dive attack. Got that body slam. Ooh. Doesn't do that much damage, though, but it does stun them pretty well. Ooh, and he can do a spin kick tornado, which makes the enemies lag for some reason. Watch, watch them. Watch, they're just going to freeze. Yep, great animation game. Fantastic. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 animation on that one. So we got the robots taken care of. We have a score at the bottom, or the mid left. It was like 3,700. I don't know what that's going to count up towards. But it's there. Got some snaky snakes here. Oh, looks like they're coming out of the holes. Oh, crud, we got these guys. Some more of these guys as well. I guess I'll just go with my regular attacks. The spinny kick tornado one doesn't seem to actually kill them that well. Okay, a couple more snakes. Oh, you get them, Amy. I kind of like the design of Amy and Tails in this. I don't know how I feel about Sonic's and Knuckles' uh, design. Let me know how you guys feel about the character designs here. But yeah, look at Amy looks pretty cool. She's got her giant hammer still. Tails is looking pretty cool. And he's got like his goggles because he's supposed to be Tails the pilot or whatever. And I guess I can't complain about Sonic's design. At least they gave him back the butt spike. As long as he has that, it's like 10 out of 10, right? More robots to fight! Unless we find a way out of here. I mean, Amy can go invisible. Can she just... Can she make our whole team go invisible? That'd be very convenient. Oh, right. The handprint thing. No, just, just touch it. I'm sure nothing bad will happen if you touch that. Dang! Metal just lands and those guys get thrown back. Is he like the commander of the robots? Oh, we did not need that booty shot of Knuckles. Oh, there he goes touching it! And he touches it and opens the door. I guess... <laughs> I guess this is proof that ancient technology is better than modern technology. I mean, he just opened a touch screen with a glove on. Take that, Apple. Your touch devices can't use gloves. They need to step it up, man. Maybe go on some, like... I think Apple needs to hire some archaeologists to go find some better touch screen technology here. Ooh. He's mad. He's so mad. Hey, what up? Just as I, thought. I don't... I don't know. Dr. Eggman seems way too buff. And suddenly, Shadow! Hey! Oh. It's just like a glimpse of Shadow and then it cuts away. I guess now we're inside. Over there. What do you think that is? Uh, probably some kind of giant laser device. Out of our current predicament. Well, maybe. And that's where we're headed. Okay. We can't get across this huge chasm. Well, Tails probably could. To our right. You know Tails can fly, right? There's no time like the present. And Knuckles is supposed to be able to glide. No. Oh. This section is mine. This isn't Christmas, Knuckles. Only someone of my stature and brains can handle this. I'm the only one who can handle this area. Thanks, though. Huh. I got this one. What's this one? I'll meet you up there. I'll go this way. Let's get out of here. Oh, I guess we're all splitting up and looking for clues. Scooby-Doo style up in here. And first we get to play as Sonic. I can see Amy in the background there, so I guess we're going to play as Sonic and the other characters are just going to control themselves. I can spin Whoa! This ramp. So we just have some basic uh, switches and... Oh, jeez. Switches and ramps here. We might start getting into some puzzly action. I don't know. Let me go across this way first. Oh, look at all those rings that I don't need. Hooray! So we hit the switch, it goes down. Hit another switch. Oh, it's like magical staircases. Oh, I think I can break in here. And there is another chest I can get. Does that count as the last... 
Yeah, it's still counting towards the ones I got from the last stage, so I guess this is still technically part of this first stage. This wall can be broken. Yeah, I broke the wall. It was easy. I hit the switch. Oh, and it makes us go into the foreground there. Not bad. A lot of switches here. Okay, so I break that. Oh gosh, that looks weird. Yeah, sometimes the animations are a little bit clunky in this game, I will admit. Oh, another treasure chest. Hooray! So now I guess they're going to start throwing us more and more treasure chests. Which makes sense. We've kind of gotten inside here. So I'm seeing two crowns and a treasure chest to find. But I don't see how I'm going to get those. Let me try hitting this. Uh, that'll get us the first one. So that'll get us this crown here. Let's see if I hit the switch again. Will it go to a better spot? Uh, yeah, that'll give us the third one. Or the second crown. What does this switch do? Oh, that'll flip that around so we can get that one now. So I think I have to put the platform back to the middle. Can I do that? Switch. Put it back. That puts it all the way back here. I don't want that quite yet. So we'll put this guy right there, and we'll get that chest. I think that's the, yeah, the fifth one already. So we're one-third done with treasure chests. I don't know if that's just like 15 in the entire game, or like 15 per stage, or 15 per world. I don't really know that much about this game quite yet, or how it's structured. But we'll figure it out. Oh, there was a crown back there. I'm gonna go for I am gonna go for 100 percent guys, I think. So anytime I see crowns and stuff, I will go for it. And I don't know if I'll like necessarily go out of my way to get 100 percent on the first go through, or if I'll just like play through the game, get all the stuff I can find along the way, and then uh, cut to the all cut to all the goodies at the end of the episode or whatever, you know. We'll figure it out. Can I jump down there? Nope. Maybe if I hit the switch that'll help. Aha! Right, that was a lot more convenient than just jumping down there. So they got some grass growing inside here beyond these stones. And in the middle we have an ancient technology thing again. Right, it's over to Let's Knuckles and Tails now. Yo, Knuckles is... All of them, all their faces look like plastic. Why are those so shiny? I don't, I don't know. I don't know if you guys saw that, but their faces were looking real shiny. Now we get to play as Tails. So we got more treasure. Now how do we hit these switches as Tails? That's the question. Uh, let's see. Well, let's go ahead and try to hit it. Ow, no, I wanted... Oh, wait, wait, I think I could go down here. Oh, it looks like he has a he has a, a gun, but we could also do a drop-down thing here. So Tails is looking kind of interesting in this game, actually. I just hope I didn't miss anything yet. I see a treasure on this side. Uh, let's go this way first. Yeah, some of these walls not built so well. Just some more rings right here. Once again, I don't actually need any more of these. And I can't switch over to Knuckles right now. I just tried. You can see Tails' picture kind of spazzing out right there. That's because I'm trying to hit the D-pad to change to Knuckles. But I think eventually we do get to switch characters and stuff. On the fly, I mean. Okay, gotta hit that button. Oh, actually first I want to get this guy right down here. Ah, crud. Wait, wait, wait. Got it, yes. So I'm thinking I need to get down between all these bumpers. See, the, is the switch gonna? We, collect some rings. we could do that. I collect as many okay, as I was just rings. making sure the the button down there is actually gonna stay down, <laughs> instead of flipping back over and making me go back up. If I could get down there, that'd be great. There we go. Oh, I saw another treasure chest down below though. So I hit that, and can I go down even further? Yes, I can. Boom! Treasure chest number seven. And over here we have a wall. Ah, oh, jeez, I can never tell which way I want to go. I don't think I can actually break this wall with tails though. Hmm. Wait, hold on. No, even that couldn't break it, so... I don't know if he can break that one. But he can charge up some fireworks, which is pretty cool. Through here. Oh, jeez, I can't break that one either. So maybe I have to hit the switches to move those. That is exactly right. So we're going to go back up here. And I think we can now go get that treasure chest we unlocked up top. Now, where was it? I think it was right across this way. Not going to bother with those. Oh, crown down here. So we get that. Then we bounce back up top, get the treasure, and hit the switch. So I guess this is kind of like a very... Not ridiculously straightforward, but a relatively straightforward puzzle section. And I'm okay with that, you know? It's not a lot of super fast platforming, but... We kind of mix it up, have some platforming, have some puzzles. I just hope they... I hope the whole game is not like this, but... I'm okay with part of it being like that. I would like there to be some... Just raw platforming as well. So we hit this guy. And it goes over to here. 
And that opens up the next door as well. Hmm. So I guess we'll hit the bumper, go into the thingy thing. Bad things are ahead. All right, then. We still can't switch over to Knuckles right now. I'd very much like to. I, I think I'd prefer Knuckles over Tails for combat sections. Okay, Sonic. It's you and me. Right. Do I get to play as Amy this time? Heck yeah, I do. Easy as one, two, three. So she's got her hammer, which is awesome. She also has a double jump. Oh, she has a triple jump, dude. That is amazing. This more jumps, the better, I'd say. That's going to close behind me. Okay, we can break that wall. We can also break this one. So I'm guessing that after we finish off Amy section, we'll go play Knuckles. And if we beat all th uh, all four sections, that'll probably get us the 15 treasure chests we need, as long as we're getting everything along the way. So I guess what I'll probably do for the day, guys, is finish off this stage. We'll finish Amy section and Knuckles section. And then we'll probably call it a day. So I think that's a pretty good amount of content for the day. Uh, all right, that looks fine. I think we just have to go back down this way. Now, I'm thinking that the the hot pink little ledges are them trying to mark out which ledges you can actually jump to. That would make a lot of sense. I will hit the switch. Oop, hit it. Uh, how do I get over to that crown? I probably have to go around a little bit more. Oops, I'm trying to jump here. Oop, jump, please. There you go. I guess there's a little bit of a delay. What the crud? Did you guys see that? What was going on with Amy? That was looking real whack. But anyways, let's let's just keep going. It's kind of funny. I never really used to say but anyways that often. But I I heard a guy... I was watching some video a while ago, and I heard a guy complaining about how annoying it is when people say but anyways. And ever since then, I just subconsciously say it. It's kind of annoying how that happens. So we hit that. And I think I can finally go and get this guy. So I'm kind of not doing so great on the crowns, I don't think. Oh, we got nine of them as well, so maybe I'm doing fine. Yes, Hitting the switch. Please. Just more more rings up here. And again, I don't know if the rings do anything beyond the first 100, so I, I don't know why they're giving us so many of them. But maybe they are important. I'm pretty sure the rings just serve as your health, but... I don't know. I We'll figure out how they work as we go here. So that puts us up to 11 treasure chests. Oh, and there's two crowns right here, so we should be caught up with those as well. So we'll have 11 crowns and 11 chests. And when we go to Knuckles section, we'll probably get the last bits of things. Ah, oh, crud, it's on a timer, I didn't realize. Okay, so we gotta go fast. Is it gonna go green again? Oh, they just moved back and forth, okay. So let's go as fast as we can. Just, all we need is, I was gonna say all we need is double jump, but no! Gosh, durr! Just wait, just be patient. <sighs> so I guess I'll use my triple jump to be safe. I tried to just be very efficient and use only double jumps. Didn't work out. There, there, yeah! Now we're up there. So if we break this one down, we can go down here, get that crown, and I think I'm gonna go to the left first to get the other crown. I think we're just about done with Amy's section. It'll bounce us right back up, and we're gonna go into the tubey pipe. My foot, oh gosh, why am I sitting like this? My foot is falling asleep. Oh, let me readjust so I can wake it up. Oh, crud. My Wii U gamepad cord thing is stuck That's on my it. foot. Let's get out of here. Oh, by the way, on the Wii U gamepad, which I have, I, I'm actually playing with the gamepad. It just has the game screen again. There's nothing extra on the bottom. So let's go up here, and I think it's probably going to send me over as Knuckles. So we're going to go into here. All right. Your turn, Knuckles. Tails and I handle this. Sounds good to me. So let's see, jump onto climbable walls. So it looks like the stuff with the red, the nasty looking PS1 graphic quality red stuff is probably what we're gonna have to climb on. Oh jeez, my foot's waking up. This hasn't happened in a while. So I don't know if I can actually break these climbable walls. Oh my gosh, my leg is tingly right now. This is very unpleasant. I don't like this, but let's just keep going. Tails is having a ball back there. So jump onto climbable ceilings to arm swing. Oh, okay. Right. Press Y to arm swing. So I can break all these walls. But I am going to go down there and get that treasure chest. If I can figure out how. There we go. So there's three more of those and we're going to be done with all the treasure chests. Hopefully I have not missed one. If I did, then crud. But I can stomp these. Hooray, I like bouncing on butts. 
There's another one. Ooh, dude, we're... I think we're making some pretty good progress with this. I won't be too surprised if we manage to get everything on the first go for... the first stage in the game, though. Ah, oh, crud, is that gonna... No, that's not gonna block us off from the ground. I think I can jump up here, climb along the top, and then it will let me drop down on that. If I can just remember which button was the drop down button. I think it was B. Yes, okay. So let's go back up there. Looks like we can also hit B when we're climbing up the vertical uh, walls to go up a little quicker. Break that guy. And hit that switch. I'm not gonna bother with the rings. Let's go this way first. We could go to, we could go to the left. Actually, let's go to the left first. Yeah, lots of treasure here. Oh, just one more of those to find. Nice. And two more of those to find. Let's go to this side and hit the switch now. I'm not sure if I if I hit that switch first if I would have missed that stuff. Now it looks like this is just another way to go here. Hmm. Well, I can hit that pretty easily. Or not. It's one of those things, if you ever say something is easy, you will immediately mess it up. Come on. Oh, you, okay. You don't actually have to jump towards the ceilings, you just, uh, you just climb towards them and you'll automatically grab onto them, so that's why I kind of messed up there. There we are. Okay, quickly to the top. And... not seeing any more treasures here. I guess we'll hit that one. So this is a very, very straightforward kind of puzzly type area. Hopefully the puzzles get more complicated. I know this was intended for children. There's also a cartoon to go along with the show, so... It's pretty unlikely that things will ever get too difficult, but I am hoping that they will. Because these puzzles right now are just like... Hardly even puzzles, they're more of just like a straightforward thing. No! No, no, no! I... Oh, I'm an idiot. Ah. Oh. Well, now I've missed one, one crown. I'll just, I'll hit this. We'll, uh, go back for that crown at some point. Gosh, dang it, I can't believe I just did that. <sighs> Let me guess, that's the only crown I'm gonna miss in the entire stage. And I don't think I can backtrack here. Alright, so they're gonna, ooh, 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 ooh. they're gonna give me a, a rings here to guide me along. Hooray! Indeed. Yeah, circle's not so good. Can I hit this? Can't hit that. And I can only play as Knuckles right now. Oh. What was that? That looks weird. I guess we have more cutscenes. Yeah, Sonic, it was you that found it. It was not a team effort at all. Definitely you, Sonic. Good job. What exactly is this statue? Looks like a giant Naga. Those like serpent humanoid things. I don't think those doors were to keep us out. They were to keep Oh, oh, is this going to be a boss fight? Uh, wait, Our first boss fight potentially. Not cool, so I still need one chest and two crowns. One of the crowns we know where it is. I was saving you. So unless saving? the crown and treasure chest are upcoming, that means we missed those at some point. Uh, guys, can we put a pin in this for a second? Uh sure, Sonic. This guy wants to have a bowling match with us. Oh no. You. What about me? Huh? Me? You and I have unfinished business. I I don't even know you. Talking about, but I'm pretty sure it's a bad thing. Yeah, definitely a bad thing. I'm convinced it's a bad thing. Yep, very bad. Oh, that is the nastiest looking spinball animation I have ever seen in my whole life. What were they thinking with that? And we're all tied up. A thousand years later, and you're still predictable. Hmm. What's he talking about? I don't know. He dodged my spin attack. Nobody's ever done that before. Wow. How intense. The first boss in the game can dodge your spin attack. Oh, unless this is like the big boss for the game. Ow, I just hit my finger. Why exactly do you want to destroy the world? Is it just because LOL bad guy? I could see how being in a prison for a thousand years would make you kind of resent the world. So maybe that's it. Uh, what just happened? I have no clue, Amy. Let's see. We discovered an ancient tomb, moved those mirror things around, and got steamrolled by a thousand-year-old reptile. Yep. Did I leave anything out? 
Yeah. Well, that wraps it up, Tails. Part where it was all Sonic's fault. Oh, right, it Knuckles. Saving you. Yeah. Speaking of saving us. It's better than shaving you. Almost have this thing figured out. Oh. All right. They conveniently had a way to escape it right on the thing. Good job, Tails. Now these guys are coming out with us, uh, coming at us with their blue forks. But guys, I think we are gonna end things here. Gosh, gosh, dang it! I think we're gonna end things here today, guys. I guess we'll take a quick look at the menu. You know, let's create a me first post. We can't make a me first post that is illegal or offensive. I can't make any promises here. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna write on my gamepad here. I'm gonna say, but send. Send. So I've just made a Miiverse post. You guys can't see it, but I promise you, I just wrote but on Miiverse. But anyways, guys, gosh dang it, I said but anyways again. I need to stop this. I'm going to save and quit here. That will be it for today. We'll come back next time and I guess tackle all these buttheads. So thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of this game so far in the comments. And I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. <laughs>